Hey, Crystal LaVanway here, and I've got a public service announcement that comes from all realtors who are trying to cut down on their alcohol consumption. See, the market right now is changing for sellers, and so, you know, you're gonna have to work a little harder to get that property sold. And a lot of sellers don't realize this and are causing their realtors to hit the bottle. So here's five tips, if you care about your realtor, to keep them off the sauce. A lot of sellers don't have the sense that paperwork is important. And quite honestly, a lot of realtors don't either, but it is. And there's really two sets. There's the listing paperwork and then there's the actual selling paperwork, all of which need to be signed in order for you to sell your house. So just sign them and don't dawdle or, you know. There are some sellers that really get into the idea of getting their property ready to sell. They clean it, they declutter it, they paint, they do the yard, they plant flowers. It's awesome. It's like HGTV. But then there's those that don't get quite as enthusiastic about preparing the property for sale. They just figure, you know what, take it or leave it. And I'm not saying this will drive you to drink for sure. It's not a requirement to have a cocktail when your seller is like that, but I'm just saying, you know, it is easier to sell the house if it looks nice. I can't sell your house if I can't get inside. If you have a tenant living there or you don't have keys or whatever and you can't let me inside, there's just no sugarcoating it. If I can't get inside the house, I can't sell it, all right? You would think that would be obvious, but it isn't. It isn't. Oh, yeah. If I can't get in the house, I can't sell it. Seriously, I need the keys, bottom line. I get it. I get it. Your house is the best house. It's the best house. There's no house as good as your house. I get that. And of course, there's a premium for that level of quality. For the fact that your house has the bigger yard. And, you know, it has this really cool family room with some awesome ceiling fans. Therefore, you're going to add, you know, $25,000 to the most recent comp in the neighborhood. I get that thinking, but you might think your house is worth $25,000 more than any house is ever in your neighborhood sold for in the history of your neighborhood, but you're the only one who thinks that, okay? The buyer is just going to go buy the house down the street that's priced right, so it's really, I mean, the price is, a, is really super important, that's all I'm saying. You've got to price the house right. It's just, you got to. You have to. All right? And this one, I don't even know if I can put it into words, but I'm going to try. As soon as I hear the seller say this sentence, as soon as these words come from the seller's lips, I know I'm in trouble. I'm in no hurry. I can wait. When they say that, I know that I'm going to need to run right out and get myself a giant box of wine to survive the sale. You can't fool me. Your house is on the market. You've listed it, so obviously you have interest in selling it. So if you can't come to terms with that, it just makes it, it makes it really, oh, it just makes it really hard for everybody. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm in no hurry. Yeah. So anyways, those are the five suggestions I have. If you want to keep your real estate agent sober, not saying you have to, you know, but I'm just saying it's helpful. If you have any questions or comments, or if you want to sit down with me and do a couple shots, well, you know where to find me. Kristen at here in phoenix.com, that's where you go out there and make it a great day. I know, you just want to put your house on the market. You don't actually want to sell it, right? <laughs>